the winner of Britain's Got Talent 2020 is... Oh, this is kind of, this is him, this is him. I'm really nervous, guys. I think the first thing that made me want to reply was probably my kids. Um, I mean, they've said it every year. Dad, why don't you go on Britain's Got Talent? Because they've seen me do shows, obviously, their whole lives. Go on, Dad! Walking out into the Palladium for the first time was really emotional. It was really hard starting from that point of emotion. I knew I was going to be, um, because I was sort of doing it for, for my dad. Uh, we watched all the Palladium shows together, and that theatre is just... It's, it's the holy grail of variety entertainment. It's, it's the mecca of entertainment. He never thought he'd ever get to be in front of millions of people doing his thing on TV. 30 years of playing in piano bars and pubs, dodging glasses when they're thrown, being thrown out of clubs. When your children ask, Daddy, when are you coming home? This game is not the same when you're just Daddy on the phone. So he sits at the piano and he tries to get prepared thinking he'll write it in third person so he doesn't feel as scared to sing about himself to a bunch of strangers in the dark but then Britain has got talent and he wants to make his mark Getting the golden buzzer was extraordinary I was asked just before the performance by one of the people that interviewed us backstage how would you feel if you got the golden buzzer and honestly that was the first time I thought about it my son was stood with me he'd run up on stage and he saw Ant and Dick running out and I didn't see them because I was sort of facing that and my son started shouting dad dad you've done it you've done it and then I realized and um, yeah you start tingling it's an amazing feeling incredible feeling My favourite part of this whole experience has probably been my kids. I know it's a bit of a cheesy answer, but my kids' reaction. I know they were proud before and they'd love that I did shows, but to see me on telly and stuff, I mean, they're buzzing and, and my youngest goes to school and his teacher is my biggest fan. My youngest son's teacher is a huge fan. So he comes back from school telling me all the stuff that his teachers asked him and told him. So I think the fact that my kids are part of this and, and they're, they're proud of me, I mean, that, that, would, that would just make any dad's world, wouldn't it? So that's, that's been amazing. Your family may be crazy. They may drive you round the bend. Your kids may drive you insane. It's a never ending spend, but my mum, always told me be proud of who you are so now i tell my children always reach for the stars getting the judges pick at the semis was just yeah it was it was a huge honor for the judges to, to choose me very flattering i'm gonna go with my heart and the person that literally made me cry my eyes out this evening, and that is John. Congratulations, John! You're in the final! Just, it's just overwhelming. I mean, as I say, I've been performing for 30 years, and I've, I've, you have good shows, and after the show, people come up and they say, great, we enjoyed your show, and that's lovely. It's the greatest feeling. But it's almost like, I mean, the judges are obviously professionals. They're, they're in the business. They know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. Um, and to get their sort of stamp of approval, is, it's, it's amazing. Happiness is small things like being with our friends. Little things like when the Queen said we'll meet again. On Thursdays on our doorsteps with pride inside our chests. Taking just a moment to cut the NHS. And it won't be long before these masks are gone. We'll be and we'll remember people like Sir Captain Tom and in years our kids will be reminiscing not about the big stuff that they've been missing but that every day they got I to don't want to sit down and write a song to try and win a competition it's a weird thing to try and explain but if, I, if I'm writing a song I want to write a song because of why I want to write the song whatever whether it's about my mum and dad or my, my life or or feeling whatever it is I don't want the song to be about winning a competition because that's a that's a different song. So I've tried not to think of it as a competition. I've just thought of it as going out and being part of a really cool variety show with a bunch of other entertainers. Um, so, and also the thought of winning it freaks me out. One of you is about to win a quarter of a million pounds and a spot on the bill at the Royal Variety Performance. The winner of Britain's Got Talent 2020 is
John Courtney. Uh, I'm the winner of Britain's Got Talent 2020. It's insane. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely trembling from top to toe. Uh, it's a complete out-of-body experience. Um, I've just spoken to my family who have gone out into the street and all the houses in our street have come out of the houses. Um, it's like the Queen's Jubilee or something. It's ridiculous. Um, it's just amazing. It has totally changed my life and my family's. It's, it's helped so many people. I can help people now. Um, friends and family, I can, I can really help them. Um, it's just amazing. I'm totally overwhelmed. Thank you for voting for me. You have no idea. 30 years to be an overnight success. Um, you've, you've just made my life. Uh, thank you for voting. Um, I owe you everything. Please come and see me on tour. I will hug every one of you as soon as we're allowed to. And I will hug you as long as you want to be hugged. And, and I will wait outside my theatre and as long as it takes to say thank you to each and every one of you that have just, have just changed my life. Thank you so much.